Bethesda is shaping up to have a pretty insane 2024, and that's honestly surprising because they don't even have a new game releasing next year, at least that we know of, but that's exactly why I'm so excited for 2024. See, obviously when Bethesda don't have a new release coming, that's because they're working on their next major big game. And of course we all know that Elder Scrolls 6 is the current focus at Bethesda Game Studios. They still have a ton of people working on Starfield of course, and Starfield's future DLCs which we'll talk about in a moment. But as far as we know, most of the team have now moved on to working on the Elder Scrolls 6 full time. Which is very exciting and also means that there's a good possibility that we finally start seeing some major leaks about it coming soon, probably next year. If we look back at Bethesda's last three major releases, we know that a ton of stuff obviously got leaked. Fallout 4's entire script leaked online at some point, Fallout 76 had a ton of major leaks, even proving that the game was online before it was even announced. And don't even get me started on Starfield, it was probably the most leaked game I've ever seen. And it's not that Bethesda are necessarily bad at keeping leaks at arm's length for example, but I think it's just more so the fact that people love Bethesda games so much that more things get leaked. So 2024 could honestly be the year that we start hearing some more information, even if it is just minor stuff about the Elder Scrolls 6, which is really exciting. But of course that's not all we have to look forward to. Bethesda have now confirmed that Fallout 4's next gen update will now be releasing next year. I've of course been telling you all this for months and it's finally confirmed and also just while we're here, good fucking job Bethesda. This is what I need to see more of, stop making us do guesswork and just start tweeting things out like this. Let the public know what's going on. This tweet should have come out in like October, but I'm just glad that they seem to be starting to get a bit more open about this stuff now. And I really hope that this is also something that will continue throughout 2024. I don't need to know every little secret that goes on at Bethesda Game Studios, but we desperately need better communication from Bethesda, and this is a great start. So fingers crossed that it, you know, continues on to 2024. Now of course sadly we don't have a full blown release date for the next gen update which doesn't surprise me at all but I think it is a safe bet to put all your money on an April release. It just makes sense for this next gen update to release around the same time as the TV series which is also coming on the 12th of April and that's something else that we have to be really excited about. Every single thing that I've seen and heard from this Fallout TV show both officially and unofficially if you get my meaning sounds amazing. And it's very rare that I hear or see about a project where everything just sounds good. Every single thing. Even with projects that I'm really, really excited for, there's always at least a couple of things that sound bad or make me think, oh, that might be a bit hit or miss, you know? But seriously, everything about this series just sounds and looks fantastic. I am really hyped for this show, especially considering it's canon to the Fallout world, and they've even approached this as sort of like a Fallout 5, so April is just going to be a fantastic time for Fallout fans, getting probably this next gen update, at least from what we can assume, and of course an entire new TV series based on Fallout. And I can't lie, this is probably what excites me the most from Bethesda's 2024 lineup. If you've subscribed to me for a while, you know that I've desperately been begging Bethesda pretty much since I started my channel to just do more with the Fallout franchise. I'm talking more games, more spin-offs, TV shows, remasters, graphic novels, whatever. This world is just so rich and I've never been a fan of how little we actually get of it and I'm glad that that's seemingly changing, at least for next year. Now of course on top of all of this stuff we have a pretty packed year for Starfield alone which I'm very excited for. Now I can't lie as much as I do love the game it is my second game of the year. Starfield has somewhat run dry for me, as, again as much as I do love the game it's just not as addictive or as amazing as other Bethesda games in my honest opinion. And a lot of that does come back down to exploration but Starfield is of course getting its first major DLC in 2024, that being the Shattered Space add-on that we've already heard about, and if past Bethesda games are anything to go off then it's almost certain that we'll see multiple Starfield DLCs next year, which I definitely think is likely. But on top of the actual paid DLC, 2024 will likely just change Starfield as a whole with free updates. Bethesda have promised that they're going to continue to work on the game, adding in tons of new features, even recently confirming new ways to travel which, hey, could point towards land vehicles, which obviously we all want and hopefully new free content updates too 
that will just add a lot more things to do and explore within the game. There are a few other things not coming from Bethesda Game Studios, but just Bethesda as a whole. We know that they've been working on this Indiana Jones game for a while, so maybe, hopefully, 2024 is the year that we finally start hearing more about this. I mean, this game was confirmed a very long time ago at this point, and it's one that I'm really excited for. So, fingers crossed we actually start to hear some news about it next year. Now, another Bethesda game, which was easily the biggest and best Game Awards announcement, is of course, Blade. I am so unbelievably excited for this game, and honestly, we did learn that this game is still very far away, but I am praying and hoping that we see or hear just a little bit of news about it next year because this is a game I want to fully cover on this channel and I am super excited for it. It is easily one of my most anticipated games at the moment. But hey, that is pretty much all I have to say today. Just a very quick video today because I'm finally back from my time off and I'm still settling back into it. But if you did enjoy the video, I kindly ask that you leave it a like. And of course, if you do want to stay up to date on everything in this video, then consider subscribing. This is absolutely the place for you. Lastly, as always, a huge, massive thank you to our channel members for supporting me month after month. But with that all said and done, I thank you all so much for watching and I really hope to see you next time. Peace.